right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday and um, the next generation from Epic Wines was in to see us here. And this is an all estate grown wine from Paso Robles. Paso Robles is a very exciting uh, wine region in California. Just a few years ago, there was under 100 wineries there. Now there's over 200. It's amazing the quality you're seeing coming out of this region. And if you like Bordeaux varietals, they do Cabernet very good there, but also something you're seeing, a lot of Rhone varietals coming from Paso Robles and made at a very high level. You know, this is an area where... You get a lot of alcohol in the wines, so you can't be shy in terms of alcohol. These wines are 15 plus percent, which, you know, when they measure the alcohol in wine, they measure it while the wine's still in the barrel. So the longer it stays in the barrel, the higher the alcohol becomes, because the alcohol doesn't evaporate, the water evaporates, and uh, these are probably, you know, a couple points higher than what is on the label. So we started out with the Veracity, which uh, Justin Smith of Saxum is a consulting winery here, another winery from this area that's gotten huge scores from the press. And um, this wine's a blend of Grenache, Mourvedre, and Syrah, so Rome blend, a whopping 15.9% alcohol. Hua! Well, they only make 1,600 cases of this wine, and a lot of these wines sell out direct from the winery because they've gotten such uh, great press here. Only 5,000 cases in total that they produce at Epoch. This is a big fruity wine. Lots of that jammy berry pie fruit on the nose, tobacco spice, some dark mocha notes. Big and chewy on the tongue, but this wine also fairly balanced for such a large amount of alcohol, 16%. A little bit of heat on the finish. You're going to get that with wines at this alcohol level, but uh, still very nice on the second day. Nicely balanced for how big this wine is. It's 76 bucks. Excellent juice. The Estate Blend up next, and um, this is a unique blend. It's got Tempranillo and Cunoise in with the Movedra, Grenache, and Syrah. So a uh, blend of two different vineyard sites that the family owns. And this one's got a good amount of dark plum and cherry fruit and array of kind of fresh flowers, cigar box spice, a little underbrush, kind of earthy note there. Good amount of dark berry fruit and that underbrush and cigar spice coming out on the finish, as well as some dry tannins. Maybe this wine needs a little bit of time, but uh, excellent juice at $45. The Ingenuity, a blend of Syrah, Grenache, Movedra, and Petit Syrah. A bit of that animal and sauvage you get from Movedra in this wine. Some dark berry, plum fruit, some mint and chocolate notes in this wine. Good amount of blackberry juice jam showing on the tongue there. A nice amount of that pretty floral perfume, that mint and that dark chocolate coming through at the end, along with some nice tobacco spice and excellent wine. Opened up nicely on the second day for $76. And then the Authenticity, which is Syrah, Movedra, and Viognier. Viognier, kind of popular to add to red wines today. They've been doing it in Northern Rhone for years and Cote Roti. And uh, it's amazing because adding a little bit of this white varietal actually makes the red wine darker. That's right, because the acidity in the Viognier helps to fix the color uh, in the red grapes. So um, the exact opposite, it's only 1%. It adds a little floral lift to the bouquet too. You notice that little perfuminess to the nose here, that dark blackberry, blueberry fruit, sweet tobacco spice. This one's another Whopper at 15.7% alcohol, which means it's probably over 16. And uh, a lot of that dark spice, bitter cocoa, and a good little hint of that animal in this wine also. A big and chewy wine on the tongue, that dark cocoa and a nice amount of perfume on the finish there. Uh, an excellent bottle of wine. Also opened up nicely on the second day. That's what we had to drink with our friends from Epic Wines from Paso Robles. I'm your host Andrew Lampasoni signing off for the Wine Watch saying remember always drink the good stuff first.